And welcome back to the extra long run where we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So last time we finished uh, Uni's side story. And um, able to... Where is he? Unlock the cap of the Medic Gunner class to level 20. So this time we have found an additional hero unit here, Eno, the Noponic Champion, or as she likes to call herself, the Champon. Because, you know, the whole Nopon being adorable thing. Apparently she talks like Nopon, which is strange. Um... Now my question is, why is this not the active quest? So we're looking for high ether. Which I mean, obviously that's going to restore a lot of magical ability, right? That's what high ether does in video games. Ooh, definitely want to sidestep those guys, though. Wait, what? Shiny thing. It ether sphere. And high ether that Eno's searching for contained with inside. Hmm. Well, we can't get near it like this. No, we have to walk toward it to get near it. We'll have to That's take care of the monsters around here first. Well, Eno? Well, we... you know, are you ready? Eno was created ready! Right on. Let's make it quick then, yeah? These guys are level 20. I feel, I feel like this is kind of unnecessary, but the game is forcing me to do it. I can't even call this practice. I can't even call this practice. It's ether, all right, exposed to the surface. Looks similar to a regular ether channel, but the energy density is off the charts. I suppose we could harvest the energy, rather this high ether, into an ether cylinder as normal? Maybe. Want me to take a stab? No! This is not exist! What's wrong, Ina? Cannot harvest high ether with baseline cylinder? Oh dear. Whoa, are you serious? Close call. What? You're not actually in a hurry to get your wings blown off then? Lance, I beg of you. Occupational safety is no joking matter. Is there something else we could use then? Did you not take your witness course on the way in? Okay. <laughs> I guess it does suggest some improvement on the classic ether cylinder design. Indeed, and its simplicity belies a high degree of efficacy bestowed by the added refinements. Well then, no time like present. Friend can go ahead and collect high ether now. Huh? You want me to do it? His very rare chance for opportunity. Eno, do not mind letting Noah do honors. Please be guest of Eno. It's definitely not going to explode, is it? Everything's <laughs> fine. HD Ether Cylinder Plus come with Eno-approved steel of quality. So please don't 
to place trust in. All right then. You only live once. <laughs> Let's give this a go. You only live once. Are you sure of that? We've kind of covered the fact that we we all live multiple times. Filling it HD ether cylinders plus. Collecting a certain amount of high ether from ether spheres will award you with a filled HD ether cylinder plus. You can only harvest an ether sphere once all the enemies in its vicinity have been defeated. The enemies you'll need to defeat will be marked with an icon. Once the enemies are down, approach the ether sphere and press A to begin harvesting it. Shwoop it all up. Interesting. When you harvest an ether sphere, uh, sphere, you may sometimes receive a hint about the location of other ether spheres that you haven't harvested yet. Ether sphere locations are displayed on the area map. To be precise, you'll be able to see ether spheres in previously discovered areas, as well as those hinted at while harvesting other ether spheres. Right. That seems to have done it. Will this do? Go ahead. Uh... What the? Wow. That hit all the right spots. Did... Did she just drink the cylinder? Please tell me I hallucinated that. <laughs> Ilo, what did you just do? She's a robot. High ether energy source for powering functions of Eno. So, uh, is that good? He's a robot. Easier to show than explain. So please allow Eno to demonstrate. Empowering Eno. Head into the main menu under Characters, Eno, Eno Swap to reach the Eno Swap menu, where you can spend HD e HD Ether Cylinders Plus to enhance Eno's capabilities. Give it a go. Oh, here we go again with this whole process. Select dual flash as the arc to strengthen. Higher upgrade tiers by finishing Eno's Ascension quest? What? Numbers go up? What? Look! Snippity snap and ta da! Capabilities of Eno power up greatly! Oh, that is pretty impressive. No, hold your ponyos! That's impossible! This is all highly irregular. What in the world are you? Really? <laughs> We're finally at the right question! Eno is creation of Nopon, legendary Grandmaster Von Susu, final bestest and most strongest of all artificial blade! Huh? Wait, blade? You mean like our blades? The ones we fight with? Not exactly. You what? This is making less sense by the minute. You're saying... You're an anthropomorphic blade. Yeah, like Is from the last it? game. So she's actually a human blade. Hmm. That's fishy. Real fishy. Hmm. She's just a game blade. That's all. Jeez, guys. Ah, uh, although, 
Ino have no intention of hurting friends. Would not wish Dinsia's toast of on. Of course. Huh? I mean, I still don't really understand it. This artificial blade business. Still, one thing's abundantly clear. Earlier, well before we ever turned up, you were protecting the Nopon caravan. You fought for them, and you did it all by yourself. That takes real courage. Seeing that convinced me. <sighs> I believe what you said, Eno. <laughs> What's this? Well, I wonder oh, wow. who's the class nice. inheritor. Sure enough, she's she's a game late. She's a late from the from the second game. This proof cannot be mistaken. Friend is driver of Eno. Wait, wait, slow down. Can you explain what you mean when you say driver? Eno more than happy to. Definition of driver is a human person who fight by side of Eno. Everyone oh, is so that's confused. Very vitally crucial. Only driver can draw up Vestus' truest power of blade. You know what to get stronger and stronger for no more peace and happiness. Okay, let's all take a deep breath now. You know that's not really what this means. It's actually, well, oh, how should I explain this? There's a little more to it than what you're thinking. Actually, if Eno may, Eno always thought if Eno get driver, Eno decided in deepest corner of heart. Eno would ask to call driver Master Bond. Therefore, Eno would love nothing more than to be permitted to address friend as M -M -M Master Bond. Uh, Noah, if you're gonna say something, you should probably say it now, or else the ship will sail. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, yeah, but. You said you trusted her, didn't you? Seems like an open and shut case to me. Are we all fine with this? Eno, this driver of yours, is that like a partner of sorts? <gasps> Not right! According to Grand Master Fun, drivers and blades were originally one in body and soul! Got it. Well, look, I'm not sure if I can be all of that to you and meet all your expectations, but if you'll have me, I'll be your driver. Yeah, truly. You're one of us now, Eno. should say, just for the record, our objective is not strictly to go around getting random Nopon out of trouble. Huh? Nah, is not? Come to think of it, we never did introduce ourselves, did we? We might not have. Right. Then I guess maybe we should get started on that. So that's, uh, that's something that just happened. Champion of Nopon complete. Eno, an artificial blade, has become the party's ally. Continue to gather high ether to, and make Eno stronger to further her ambitions. Artificial New hero added. And the class inheritor, of course, is going to be Noah.
Eno's class, Nephonic Champion, Royal Defender, gains perks by evading attacks, rewarding skillful use of evasion arts. Also becomes stronger after getting KO'd. Oh jeez. Ah, Eno, just remember, Master Pawn, there was something, there was an important thing that Eno was forgetting. What is it, Eno? It have to do with HG Ether Cylinder Plus that Eno you know, gave to Master Pawn. According to Grand Master Pawn, Cylinder can seal yet more hidden power. Really getting our, our, no, our no pawn's worth out of this one, eh? Yes. To release true power, however, it need further level of upgrade. And what happens when? What happens when? What happens when once we release it? Ah, I don't know why it was hiding so much trouble in my life. Only good things and many. We able to bag bags of high ether and make Eno whole load stronger. In other words, it would improve the cylinder's technical specifications. I see. So anyway, Eno wanted to ask Master Pawn to also help improve cylinder in parallel while looking for ether spheres. Right. Sure thing, Eno. So, how do we go about doing that then? HD Ether Cylinder Plus is a highly specialized product made with proprietary Napon technology. Therefore, best bet is to request revamp of certified Napon technician. But Riku's right here, so. Riku already got wings full with blade and gem minions, so would like to pass buck on this one. Oh, so that's your excuse. Sure, pal, if you say so. Hmm. What other Nalpon connections do we have? How about those caravan Nalpon we helped out before? And the droid situation. Uh, and the droid suggestion. Though, they they may yet remain nearby. Well then, shall we have a look around? Roger, welcome, Pon says Eno. Going full HD. Reusing Aether Spheres. When har once harvested, Aether Spheres will disappear, but they'll reappear in the same spot once enough time has passed. Note that the yield will decrease after the initial harvest. Better, better HD Aether Cylinders Plus. Sunny Interior's Napon ca Caravan, whom the party assisted, is staying at the Forest Region's Namba Mountain Camp. You can improve your HD Aether Cylinders Plus there. Using improved HD Aether Cylinders Plus allows you to obtain more high ether from each ether sphere. Oh. Come to think of it, they are probably. No, that's a different quest altogether. There we go, Sunny Interior's Caravan. Big bowl of Cheerios and a glass of Sunny Delight. Friend Sunny, friend Cheerio. Meh meh, it you know you know. Sunny please does punch the Eno you know grace caravan with presents so soon. We just get in fresh new shipment of yummables and novables. Only too happy to share. Many thankings. We'll have to ask Master Pond for shopping bonanza later. But Ashley, you know come today to discuss separate issue with friend Sunny. Uh huh. What might be? Is there perhaps technician in caravan of friend Sunny that know how to improve e uh, HD Ether e HD Ether Cylinder Plus? Oh ho ho, the ears of Sunny Disease? Eno Eno mentioned that fabled apex of Nopon, a uh, technological achieve, e HD, ether, uh, HD Ether Cylinder Plus? Fabled, he calls it. Oh, ho, ho. Yes, now Sunny understand an assignment. Then please, can we make, can make use of service help of helper of Sunny, name of Totoma? He admitted the bit of strange and lewd, lacking in gab and friendly patter, but nevertheless skilled caravan mechanic. Friend Totoma, memorized. Thanks for, thankings for referral, friend Sunny. And also, while we flapping chops here, 
pleased to accept this, you know, you know? Sunny just happened to have necessary materials to hand, so more than happy to fob off on. Such generous is friend sure? Everyone in Caravan would know how Ino Ino run around hither thither, fighting to guard Napon future and present. It's highest honor for any Napon to be able to render assistance. Ah, friend Sunny! You know, feeling such excess of happy might break into dance any moment. Chance of dance? Sunny must join Ino Ino and Frolic. Oh dearie me. Then Cherry also cut rug. DJ Pond, play us tune! Sparks and embers. Um, you know, do you think maybe we could shelve the celebrations until we're finished with the cylinder business? Meh, yes, Master Pond makes sense. You know, almost forgot self and movement. It hasn't even been a minute. Master Pond, we hurry now. Must get friend to Toma to look at Cylinder. You just said that. But not you. I'll talk to Cheerio. Let's make the most of our break, guys. I want to talk to Cheerio, not interact yeah, with the rest of us. There we go. Buy many products in bulk. There's so much choice. Ah, and this is a food mart. Let's get a couple of them, I guess. I see some relations have changed. Yes, hopefully we can. Now, what was it we needed? Okay, so it's not a these quests, except that you're just gonna give us the materials to actually do it. Alright, I'm glad that all worked out. Thanks much, Master Pond, but matter is far from finish. Ina must collect much more high ether for purpose of restore self to full power. For sake of bring peace and happiness to knock on everywhere. Yeah, I know that. We haven't across any more ether spheres. We'll, we'll be sure to collect the high ether for sure. And if we can get all the materials together, we can have the cylinders improved here again. Indeedy doodle. You know would be most grateful. Going full HD complete. The HD Ether Cylinder Plus model was upgraded without hitch. Totoma also seemed willing to upgrade it further, provided you could supply the materials. Now, what was it we needed? That's worth five. That's worth eight. That's worth five. There we go. Yeah. Now, what was it we needed? Let's see how far we can take this. Ooh, twenty seven. Four. And a four and a five. Stands to reason that we're able to upgrade this uh, a few times. Yeah, we're not going to be able to upgrade it again.
All right, now Make let's sure use the well can. Rested. There we go, nice and clean. And let's see how much we can level up. Up to level 56 across the board, so you know, level 55. All board! Adventure train ready to depart! Indeedy doodle. Um. Yeah, so there is still a quest here, but that's that's Satoma over there with uh collecting things to upgrade the ether cylinder and we don't have anything to give them, so what is this quest here that's writer's block still not entirely sure what i'm supposed to do. actually there's kind of a ledge here i wonder if i can fall down there safely Well, let's see if we can collect some uh, some high ether. Because goodness knows, Eno has some catching up to do considering how low level that quest was. Okay, let's stop this violence. I would ask the chat about this, but I don't think... I don't think there is anyone active in chat right now, so... I'm just gonna go against the Agnes, I guess. Wait a minute, when did I... And then it switched me to know it. You know what? It's gonna switch me to Noah. I'm just gonna be Noah. I guess. Everyone party is on. Okay, it's you. There we go. Oh, that was, uh, I didn't realize there was an elite in this fight. Conclusion. No, pretty much what Feeling I expected. Good. I'd say we were moving in sync, right, Tyo? <laughs> I'll say, kind of don't like the idea of taking sides between Chaos and Agnes, but uh... it's 
Sometimes it just happens that way. Unfortunately, fighting is required to harvest an Aether Sphere. this concept of having to uh, fight the monsters next to the sphere is just kind of in a level of complexity that doesn't really need to exist, especially when we're this far ahead in levels. Alright, let's see if we can figure out a way to the other side of this thing. So far we've had no success with this endeavor, but uh, there's gotta be something. There's gotta be some way to make it down to the other side without dying horribly. Now that we're down here, we're kind of, uh, we're kind of stuck in a perilous situation. It's not gonna end well, I think. Well! I don't know if that was the intended solution. I really feel like it wasn't, but we're here. collect these various shenanigans, then move on to explore the rest of this area behind here. Excited about well, you know, is very excited. Just there, there is no other way to describe you know's state. She is just very excited all the time about everything. And hey, we're up here. 
And hey, that absolutely does not uh, solve the mystery of how do I get to that quest marker down there? It does solve the mystery of how do I get to this container? Also, I haven't checked on... Uh... Oh. Seen a couple of rank nines. That's gonna be who to pay attention to here. How do I get there? Fog is a fog and annihilation. That's not what I was expecting. Actually, I was expecting to come up on top here. And I was thinking that maybe there's... No, that ledge is higher up. Can I climb up for us? And I feel like there, if there was supposed to be something interactable... I would be able to see it. And there is... some undiscovered land over here. Looks like there's a cave What's over that? here. Cave. Great. Wonder what it's like inside. Well, let's find out. So thanks for leaving me alone. Much appreciated. You don't, don't bother me, I won't Thank bother you. you. That works. Igna conglomerate. Oh dear. I have to bar to bother you though, won't I? This will be a challenge. Wow, apparently those other mobs are just not linked.
And they're gonna end up getting drawn just for the fact that they're so close to everything. Right? I'm just wondering how long I can keep this going with drawing the, the minimum number of other mods into this fight. So far we've only drawn one of them. on this guy. And by we, I mean me. Oh crap, I just burnt my chain attack on... Okay. Well... I don't think it really matters what button I press or who I pick. I'm just gonna press buttons until this guy is dead. Change target, please. No? Okay. This feels inordinately excessive. Stop, stop, he is already dead. It's actually the first time I cancel a chain attack out of sheer pity. Also, I noticed that I'm repeating arts 
occasionally. I'm not really sure how I'm doing that. I hope so too. Sorry guys for killing your leader and all. Guardian code and all that. Must send off the corpses and occasionally make corpses to send. regular Evo channel. It's going to cap off our uh You can never go wrong with some ether. Yeah sure enough it doesn't go over 99 so trying to uh trying to collect any more at this point is just going to be futile. that things are getting dangerous when the monkeys come out. Monkey! Sure is a location we're at right here. Whoa, got a red dude all right here. An ether channel there, but we absolutely don't need to uh, to draw those anymore. Not until we can spend our ether on something. There's another one there, please. Interesting that the uh, the landmark it gave us is like all the way over here. And this links back up to ground that we've already covered. Is that what I think it is?
I realize that this is basically the episode of getting Something absolutely sidetracked. But y'all know me. Plus, I'm not really too worried about it. There's basically no one here. Actually, let's keep it nighttime. Uh, no, I want to go this way. Map out every little corner. Because there is a lot to find around here. Including getting stuck on the geometry. And finding husks. Such is the Offseer's duty. Okay, so we did find this little path here, which definitely seems to lead to over here. Just how do we actually get up there? stuff to the left as well that uh, we didn't explore, so let's try doing that. Try to map this out as best as possible. stop this violence or else the violence will just happen for an eternity Now, 
come back this way. I do wish that I could look at the area map without it changing the music. Agnian and Kavesi forces are fighting. It's not from here. Well, we're mapping out edges of things that we've seen from like a distance before. Huh? What's that? That's a findable surface. Okay. That incline on the map looks fine with it. It sure is. Would you mind? And these expansive maps. And let's be real, they're probably expensive too. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we have reached the limit of where I won't be faced by anything. All of these guys are going to be aggressive, given my level. They're almost high enough level so that we can walk by some of them. It's a bit silly the fact that we have three tanks right now. I think part of it was brought along by uh, by a console fight that wasn't going well. And also it just happens to be that 
uh, Eno is a uh, tank as well, so. I do wonder if Black Fog actually has some sort of effect on uh, on the characters. I don't know if the game ever makes that very, like, particularly clear. Oh. I don't want to do this, but you're in our way. Let's light these mothers up. Like these and mothers up. Also, there is a container supposedly right back here. Wonder what's inside. Hiding away like that. This is something decent, right? It's a level 60. Oh, let's get out of here. Mm. Okay, maybe we're not going to be able to. Well, if you're going to disappear like that, I mean, oh boy. You're going to reappear. You're just gonna kind of sit there, aren't you? I just want to send this guy off. Hopefully, you don't bother me while I do this. Should be time for dinner soon, right? Okay. Thank you for allowing me to do that. Also, I need to go this way. Friendly fellow. 
see if we can map this out without you bothering us. Yeah, that's good enough. There's a cave over there. See, that's why I'm mapping this stuff. Sometimes you just find caves. These caves usually lead to neat things. Have we been in this game before? Oh, it's this cave. Yeah, this is the hidden stash of, uh, of one of the colonies, anyway. All right, well, back we go. We've already done this. I honestly forget which uh, which colony this uh, the stash belongs to. I think it's all of the Andrews. Yeah, I remember coming out of this cave. Actually, come to think of it. So it looks like the easiest way to get up to that location I'm trying to get to is to not take the, uh, proceed with caution. Proceed with cat on. Also, there is a container over here, too. Hey, buddy. I'm just gonna take this container if that's okay. I wonder what's inside. This has gotta be worth a bunch. We should take good care of that. But yeah, there's a climbable wall not far from here, and that's where we need to go. There it is. Let me check. It appears we can pass through here. Watch your footing, guys. Oh, nice. Apparently, otter running will take care of uh, climbable walls. That makes me quite happy. Yeah, 
figured there was going to be something else playing over here. Feeling like an American Glidey ever trying to climb this ginormous wall. Holy crap. You realize if we slip off, we die, right? Does this exist? Please to be answering this these questions that I have. Say this makes me ultra nervous. I mean, this had better lead to a secret location. Well, this just made my day. Yeah, it sure does. Oh. Oh, for crying out loud. What are they doing here? Save it for later. Here they come. What level are they? 48. Okay, not so bad. I'm glad that this at least leads to a secret area. I mean, that alone is kind of, kind of a lifesaver. Also, let's make sure to focus the same line. Okay. 
Are you kidding me? Well, I guess this is a diving board. Down we go. So much to see, huh? This is something decent, right? What's inside? This should prove useful later. We should take good care of that. Huh. Hm. Let's finish mapping this out. At the very least. Man, we have so much data on this area, and we don't even have a full map yet. Look at all this. We still haven't been up here. There's still something over here that we haven't looked at. I think of it, we can probably take a look at that like right now. There's still some area over there too. Here we go. So that shiny over there is going to be part of our Writer's Block quest. Huh. There's a husk over there too. This is what we were after. Be sure to tuck it away safely. Let's take care of that husk, I guess. Uh, that smarts. Oh, and another one there, too. I guess we're probably gonna find a lot of husks in the, uh, in the desert, after all. Huh. I guess this is fate, too, huh? Fate, too. I guess this is fate two, huh? Fate two, the revenge of the return of the revenge. thing that I'm curious about is where that little portal is. Now it looks like it leads to a cave. Is that cave gonna have- oh geez, hi. Excited? You're also level 27, you're gonna leave us alone. Now, does this cave have its own map? Looks like it looks like the answer is no. Well this just made my day. Oh we're finding another secret area. Alright. I'm down with that. Oh the ether channel that we don't need.
I feel like you're probably a monster. Yeah, look at this ridiculously blue water. Whoa, got a rare doodah right here. Oh, I'm glad I came here. And there's still this entire friggin' desert that we haven't uh, explored. And probably aren't going to. I'll probably take care of that when, uh, when I finish the main quest here and I'll be able to just go everywhere I please and all that. So... I think that's about it for here for now. multiple paths but uh, this adds to the exploration factor I guess Sphere not far from here. Let's uh, let's harvest that. There it is. Powering up our roars. Once again, that's something that I haven't done in a while. Maybe I should. Let's do this right now. Mm, intro. Okay, that's absolutely not what I wanted to do. Uh, let's see. Once again, intro link. 
soul tree. Is it not letting me do it because I am in... Hmm. Well, at the very least, I should at least be able to upgrade you know. See if there's any other singles in there. From the looks of it, there is not. Ether sphere over here. The graph is trying to frighten us with its electricity. Don't try to stop us. Well, this won't be any trouble. I see you. Ah, 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 You're dealing with me. Indeed, the Orboros themselves. That's a voice in the hat. And there is so much stuff to do out here. Though. Let's go into the water for a little bit. See if we can't find any of these, uh, oh. There's a question mark that just kind of went right by my head. I 
I'll be able to climb up to it from here, though. I think the goal that I want to achieve is uh, find these question marks. And then we can probably call it a day and take care of those quests next time. Good to find a landmark. Hmm. Okay. Okay. When you're on Jeopardy, when you're actually in Jeopardy. You know we're gonna have to do it now, right? But how do you guys know this? That's my question. Standard bus unspeakable being. <laughs> Okay, so we're handing over... Can I just fill it up with these? Everyone is big stupid! It's a rodent of unusual size. Oh no, it's cute! Can I pet it? Okay, gotta admit, this is kind of fun. Oh my. Level 58 unique. Okay, this might be a problem, actually. Considering that I started 15 minutes late, I have no problem ending 15 minutes late. I've been doing that anyway with this series. I just want to play more of this. Link is not going up very fast at all. In fact, my skills are not going up very fast at all. Just in general. Oh, it's because this enemy is evasive as crap. 
The majority of attacks are just missing. that intro to finish here. And then start with the chain attack. Increases damage already by 225%. Alright, let's give that a try. That's an entire two additional attacks that I have to do in order to complete this uh, this chain order. Back in action, excellent. Unfortunately, it lands is not one of these options, so. Oh, single-handedly. <laughs> and once again, single-handedly able to do it. Um... And it doesn't really matter what I do. The user's is gonna throw 101 uh, TP directly into it. There might have been an option that could have given me a bravo, but what does it matter? I'm gonna do an orbital sort of next. And look at that! 144! I kind of actually didn't want to exceed there. Let's hit that 144 and get, get an amazing rating. This might actually do it though. And especially considering that damage boost. I feel like that just barely did it on the last hit. On the next to last hit. Yeah, that was uh, no joke. Curiosity killed the Ferox. Hmm. Danger is in cuteness.
So th this has been a vanity thing this entire time? Yeah, sure you don't. I heard that was her reason of being of all of no one kind. So this entire thing was about us calling that critter cute. Unspeakable being, mission complete. The unspeakable being Rick and Manana were so afraid of turned out to be an adorable monster. What if I do this? Maybe that'll bring the uh, the ship a little. No, nope. the ship is just gonna be exactly where it was. Let's find these other two question marks and hopefully not get caught up in the uh, in their respective quests immediately. This island. It's another thing to see it for yourself, right? Is this going to be a hero quest? Doesn't look like it's after us, somehow. Wanna follow? Even better, let's make a big sign saying, We're idiots, please shoot us. You what? Give it a rest, Lance. So, what's the plan, Noah? Right. Since it's a Pharonis, it'll doubtless have a bunch of people enslaved to a flame clock. They might not be too happy to see us, though. We'd be lucky if that was all. Consoles, or rather, Mobius could be there too. True, which is why, whether we follow them or not, we need to think carefully. You don't see a whole lot of Ferranas literally Something's running around. around. Huh. I hope we can make use of this. Also, that did not give us a quest. I will make a note of that one right away. Let's make a nice little map of this, uh, Tiny little island. Treasure appropriated. And then go in search of this other plus marker. Oh, 
Oh, another one showed up too. It's probably related to that for us. Ah, this is indeed the place where this question mark is. What kind of place is this? Wait up! I heard something. What is it, Mimi? Oh. A banana seat person on ground! Stay with me, we'll patch you right up. anyone when you can barely stand yourself you got a death wish or something <gasps> let's break it down as I see it you have two options here you can go in and try to save them by yourself or you can let us pitch in which one of those strikes you as the better idea eh? you, you want to help me I don't know that depends I wouldn't be in such a hurry to throw my life away. Being ready to die and actively trying to get yourself killed are two very different things. <sighs> it's just a quick patch up, but it should help you think straight. <laughs> Sorry about Lance and his threatening display of idiocy. <laughs> What's threatening? You missed the point. I did not miss the... Oh. Look, you can relax. We're all friends here. Would you mind telling us what's going on? Yeah, okay. There was a Kavesi raid. There was no time. I had to cause a diversion, so I leapt in without a second thought. After that, it's... it's all a blur. That was pretty reckless of you. Remind Riku of someone Riku know? <laughs> oh. Taking on my hands today, we best right. hurry. Judging by the situation, your allies were likely forced apart and are now fighting alone. It really sounds like it would help to have some numbers on your side, no? For now, let's take the best course of action we can. We can hash out the details later. The best course? <laughs> the best course, of course. My name is Fiona. I am the commander of Colony Mew. I know this might be a lot to ask, seeing as we've just met. But please, lend me your strength. I need to save my people. Fiona has temporarily joined the party. And this is indeed a hero quest transparent for you. Good to add more names. Hoping to find at least one Hold of these. On, everyone. I'm on my way. I mean, not today, you're not, but, uh... Supply drop! Looks like we might get lucky! Wrong button.
Oh, so there's another quest related event over here. Which if I had to guess, it's probably related to that Theranus. Because this wasn't here before. Look! There! Yeah, that's what I thought. Is that... Didn't we see that for Honest before? At Ishan Isle? So then, that means Mobius might be over there. They could attack us at any time. Let's proceed with caution. Ha! Visitors, eh? Oh dear, it's gonna put me right into the fight. A spark in Mobius. Cool your heads and have some grub with me. Thanks, pardon me? W grub? You need food if you want energy. Don't go telling me you don't eat now. Uh, yeah, yeah, real? What's this deal? Uh, what? <laughs> but you're all skin and bones, the lot of you. Right, laddie? <laughs> all right, steady on. Anyhow, I'm not even hungry. Hi. Six feet, dude. Please. I'm gonna put your heads off, pipsqueaks. What's this guy's deal? Don't just stand there. do we do? I guess we can't just ignore him. Ah, I do love the sea. So I'm taking this thing on a trip. Mobius? On a trip? Of course. A man's life is a long journey. Walk your path without a destination, and you'll get little encounters like this one. Yeah, uh, if you think we're gonna trust a Mobius, you're off your rocker, man. Oh, ho, ho! Sounds like you're an awful pickle and no mistake. What a disaster for ye. But you see, Mobius I may be, but I don't got any orders regarding. I'm a free agent, says I. Anyway, okay. there are things on the sea so tasty they'll make you weep, along with some gigantic monsters. So I arrange for them to be here. Things you landlubbers would never dream of. You mean you're mixing the colony up in all this? Just so you can have a bit of fun? Guess you're right. I just love watching the sea from a Ferranus, truth be told. Therefore, free agent that I be, I work as Colony 15's consul with a spot of moonlighting as the commander. The other Mobius tell me rubbish like your name is T. Perhaps it's fate I met up with you lot. So if you please, you can call me Captain Triton. Um, somebody tell me what's happening? <laughs> Captain Triton, I get what you're saying, I do, but... Noah, you ain't humor in this windbag. Indeed. Can't listen to any words from this man's mouth. His crazy, reckless schemes will get friends dead, smashed to pieces. And what? Once I get an idea, I have to put it in motion. Otherwise, nothing around here would happen. The captain's awesome. He might be an ugly lump, but he can smash a big monster clear into next year. Well, I like a good challenge. 
So we spend a chunk of time going around it. Wait, who are you calling up? Whether they're in the sea or the sky, we find big nasties and biff them up good. Right, gotcha. You definitely called me ugly. <laughs> Flemir, we're better off keeping away from this lot. You can't be best pals with a Mobius. Come now, young pup, you only just arrived. Fancy a little contest. A contest? The wind brings me a couple of rumors. Such as all of ye being pretty capable. Seeing fellow warriors always gets me fired up. So, it be contest time. What are you on about? No way I'm doing that. Scared, eh? Eh? Hi, you're lily livers. Huh. Guess Uraburus just run away with their tails between their legs. Is that right? Ha! Lily liver! Who are you calling Lily Livered? Just leave it, Lance. You're wasting your time bothering with someone like him. Must be nice for you leaving one foot out the door so the sparks won't fall on you when there's trouble. You're frightened of getting knocked down, so you're making out like you're warning him. You try to save face or something. Be you so scared of most. That's Lily Livered, or my name's not Captain Triton. I'll give you Lily Livered. <laughs> it's settled then. Been looking for someone hot blooded. Happy? Make the preparations. Men of the Sea Triton's Triple Challenge. By power vested in Appy, Appy will now explain rules of contest. Huh? You mean we're actually going through with this? Uh... Rules are simple. In vicinity of Colony 15, there are three islands. Each island have specific challenge. Team that solves challenge fastest wins points. <laughs> if that's all we need to do, this will be incredibly simple. I totally thought this was going to be a big punch-up. <laughs> Where's your sense of romance? Ain't no contest in a straight-up fist fight. For friends' informations, Colony 15 soldiers wait on each island to observe contest. Contest teams are... All of friends' team versus the captain and three others. Hey, so we have a bigger team. Doesn't seem fair. If ye be guests, you see, I'll accept a handicap by way of hospitality. Oi, are you having a laugh? Ignore it. He's just provoking you. A man doesn't go back on his word. Now then, all of you, get to it! Friends prepared? First challenge is at Ishan Isle. Talk to Ronya to find out more. Let contest begin! Excuse me? This is a hero quest? Am I going to have a Mobius in my extended party? Am I going to have a Mobius that I can switch to as a class? Better give it a good once over. What is going on? <laughs> Good to add more names. I I I don't understand. This is so confusing. Well, you know what? <laughs> Good to add more names. This has been an experience. I'm gonna go back out to the beach here. I'm gonna save, and then next week is going to be interesting, I think. It's good to keep a record. Oops. All right. Well, So 
So that's going to do it for today. Uh, if anyone is out there, I do thank you for watching. Nobody in chat today, but if you are lurking, I still appreciate you all the same. Uh, I was going to raid someone, but considering that there's doesn't seem to be anyone out there, um, probably just gonna skip that part. The next scheduled stream uh, would normally be on uh, would normally be tomorrow at 8 p.m. or later. The Sunday Super Shuffle. To be honest, it's probably not going to be happening on my stream uh, this week because I do have some other things that uh, are coming up for this weekend. Which is not to say that there's not going to be a, su a Sunday Super Shuffle. It's just not going to be happening on my channel. So yeah, if you want to check it out, I would suggest that you check out uh, one of the other players such as Mazzy. Um, as be given or Zuzio or Madison Barks and uh, check out the chaos there and uh, next stream so the next uh, schedule stream that will be happening is going to be on um, Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic daylight time it is the regular long run stream where more than likely we're going to be finishing uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Uh, which isn't to say we're going to be completely done with it, but we are going to be done with the story. And then there's going to be one more stream that's probably going to be uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door related. Uh, so stick around for that. So the next stream after that is going to be the Code Creator stream. That's going to be uh, Wednesday at 4 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. Probably going to be doing some more work on bumper stickers. There's always work to be done on bumper stickers, quite honestly. Even though I might not be doing as much of it as I should be. Uh, and that brings us round the week, round the wheel, to our next extra long run stream. Uh... So next uh, Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It should be starting on time. Uh, and we're going to continue uh, our run through Xenoblade Chronicles 3 with two more hero quests to do before we progress the story. One of those hero quests being related to a Mobius. Which still bewilders me. A Mobius who does not give a crap about the fact that he's a Mobius and we're Ouroboros. Anyway, that is going to do it. Thank y'all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.